first of all I want to do welcome all our viewers and subscribers just to this episode um, this episode is a tribute for dark mane or the avoca mail line and um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen um, some footage over the last few weeks where the avoca dark mane line um, ruler of the Talamati pride was killed by a group of buffalo um, those buffaloes must have surprised him and uh, they tossed him in the air a few times and he died a couple of days later probably due to internal bleeding or something like that so we just decided from Tinswala just to give a little bit of a tribute to this incredible male line and just a little bit of history from our side with regards to this male line so when I first saw um, the Evoca male line he came into the northern part of the Manuleti around Kokomoya and there were five of these Evoca male lines two very old male two older male Evocas and then the three younger Evocas the two older the evokers came through, split away from the three and went down towards the Sabi Sands and eventually set up territory in the southern Sabi Sands on the Sabi River. The other three evoker males spent a lot of time on the Manuleti in the north and the central, then moved south and uh, linked up with the Talamati Pride, mated with the Talamati Pride and after that two of the evoker males left the Talamati Pride and left Dark Mane, the evoker male line, with um, with um, the, uh, the, 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 the Talamati Pride. He was a great um, enforcer and defender for the Talamati Pride and he raised the, the cubs to a, a really, really good age where they were out of trouble from other males. He had a few uh, 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 fights with incursion males or uh, males coming from the east of Kruger but managed to push them away, stay with the Talamati Pride. At one stage he did tackle a buffalo with a Talamati Pride and injured his, his leg so he, he was always limping at times. But yeah, he stayed with the Talamati Pride and then slowly but surely um, as the Mbali Esat male started to come into the southern part of the, uh, the, the um, Manuleti, he pushed the Evoca male and the breakaway Talamatis away from the Pride. The Pride Talamati then split into three females, five cubs and the Mbali Esat male and Evoca and the dark mane evoker male left with the, the Talamati subadults and moved into the Sabi Sands. Um, he kept going for a while and then um, kept come incursion, uh, kept coming back into back into the Manuleti for, for some time and then S8 or Mbali male would push him away. Um, and then what happened is he lost a bit of uh, a condition they moved far into the Sabi Sands. He was seen pretty far south um, in the Sabi Sands. And um, then we had this terrible incident with these uh, buffalo and the buffalo injured Dark Mane. And I always say you live by the sword, you die by the sword. So just from all the fantastic footage that Dark Mane, Avoca Male has given us at Tinswala has been amazing. He was an incredible model, role model, sorry, should I say, for the Talamati Pride as the enforcer, protector, and uh, looker after. And uh, we had many, many years of great viewing with the Evoca male line. We used to hear him roaring around Pungwe, um, southern, southern Manuleti. He used to keep out all other males. So yeah, we would just uh, like to pay this tribute to an incredible male line. A male line who was uh, here in the Manuleti for many years and we're going to severely miss him.